Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother Shamak. All right, I'm going to first start off by giving all the glory and infinite praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekai Kadash. Double honors to the apostle, the elders of Great Millstone, the teacher rule well, and I oversee the tabernacle of David. Start with Rabbi Abba Bivens on down to Apostle Hart on down. All right, Shalom to the hopeful elect that's giving diligence to make the cardinal election sure across four corners of the earth and that did not delay. And shalom on to the angels of witnesses this day. And shalom on to the serious Akwafium sisters that subject to the truth in our sincerity. All right. And I, <clears throat> so like it. I just want to go into the spiritual account, um, spiritual power account of, of Elijah and Elisha. Okay. And let's first start with uh, with the Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. Because this book um, and these things are written for our learning. Okay. Because in the time, in that time when we we're changing, twinkling of an eye, with this spiritual power because we're, we're seeking that reward and the elect are going to be doing those spiritual powers in that day okay and we hope that we are those men we hope the apostle elders are those men we hope that the next man next to us are those are those men doing these spiritual powers man okay and everything in this book can't even co contain all that yahweh shot did all right let's get this is oh i started 29 that's beautiful this is John chapter 20, verse 29. Yahweh Shah said it to him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet they have believed. That's the that's the uh ideology of faith. Okay? That's the essence of faith. We haven't seen Yahweh Shah. We haven't seen these miracles. Okay? We see these prophecies though, you know. So we that's a that's a uh that's our sense of seeing, you know. But uh, the, these times are coming. You know, glory, glorious times are coming. And we can see it. We can see it in our tunnel vision. Okay? Through our faith. Okay? Through our faith, man. That's, that part is powerful. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet but have believed. Mm. That's beautiful. Okay, cause these these damn these uh I wanna say niggas, man, not gonna understand until we until the until they let the men of the Lord doing spiritual powers right in front of them. Just like Elijah and Elisha did, man. All right. It's verse 30. And many other signs truly did Yahweh Shai, did Yahweh Shai in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. Okay. We don't know what miracles he, he had, uh, did, man. Okay. It's, it's too many to be written in the book. All right. But hey, just know that we're going to be doing some of those same miracles that are not written in the book. Okay. Whatever, the, whatever it may be. All right. Verse 31, but these are written that ye might believe that Yahweh Shah is the Hamashiach, okay? That, that Yahweh Shah, man, he, that he's the Savior, he's the anointed, man. It says the son, the son of the Most High Power. And that, and that believing ye might have life through his name, okay? Through his name. That name is powerful, okay? This book is powerful. He, come, his, he comes in the volume of the book, man. The entire book, all right? And that name, we gonna def, that's all we're going to have in that day. And that's, what we, that's how we're going to be doing those spiritual powers. Okay? That's exactly how we're going to be doing those spiritual powers, man. Let's get this account with Elijah. All right. Slack, I just want to highlight. All right, we can start. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 17. And it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, Okay, so she was a mistress, man. She was what is a housekeeper. All right. Fell sick, and his sickness was so sore that there was no breath left in him. Man, he basically dead. You know, sleep. Okay, because death is sleep. 18. And she said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee? O thou man of O thou man of God, art thou come unto me to call my son to remembrance and to slay my son? You know, she asking, she wondering, you know, is she being punished? You know, through her son, man. Okay, that's a terrible. That's a terrible thing to see. All right, this is this is your seed. You know, verse nineteen. And he said unto her, "Give me thy son." And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft where he abided and laid him and laid him upon his own bed. Okay. So Elijah dealing with him one on one. Okay, she went to a man of the Lord. Simple as that. Verse twenty. And he cried unto the, unto Yahweh and said, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, has thou has thou also brought evil upon the widow with whom I sojourn by slaying her son? 
Okay? Then you know, widow, what did she have? That's uh what? She didn't have a husband, man. Okay? Widow, no husband. With whom I should draw by slaying her son. And verse 21, and he, and he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried unto the Lord and said, O Lord, my power, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. Okay, he was praying, man. He, he's asking. Okay, he's asking, man. Verse 22, and, and Yahweh heard the voice of Elijah and the soul of the child came into him again. He revived. That's spiritual power right there, man. Okay, that's spiritual power. All right, he basically revived. He revived the child, man. Brought the child back to life through the grace, of, <coughs> through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. You know, and that, we're gonna be doing it. And hopefully, you know, we pray and hope that we're gonna be doing those same acts, man. All right, maybe for our own family members, if if uh, Lord willing, if if the grace and mercy is there, you know, or for hey, for whoever whoever it may be for. All right, verse twenty three. And Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him into his mother. And, and Elijah said, See, thy son, thy son liveth. Verse 24. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that, that thou art a man of, of the most high, and that the you know that the word of Yahweh in thy mouth is truth. Because in that in that day when we're doing these miracles, we doing these spiritual powers, you the uh they're gonna know that a prophet had been among them. They understand then. You know, cause some you know our people got it. People our people so stiff that they got to see signs and wonders. Okay, what I was gonna get? Uh, let me go to had some verse. Yeah, well, he consumed. Uh, we brought fire down from heaven. I get that real quick with Elijah. Second Kings chapter one verse ten, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty. If I be a man of the most high, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee in thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consume him in his fifty. Okay, because Elijah is a man of the Lord. Okay. You know, the captain coming against coming against him with his with his men, you know, he's gonna be destroyed. This this is just examples for us to take heed to. Alright, and then the man had uh this is when I think he bowed down. Let me see. It's uh Second Kings chapter one verse thirteen, and he sent him again a captain of the of the third fifty, and with his fifty, and the third of captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah, and besought him and said unto him, O man of the most high, I pray thee let my life and let the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. See that captain that captain had to be humble through those what those spiritual powers man through those miracles, okay. That you you dealing with a man of the Lord, all right. And we, that's why we hope this this is this is this should be motivating for the spirit. Okay, this you you look back at this account and be like, man, dang, I hope I, hope I do that. I hope I will be able to you know bring forth this same act, this same this same spiritual power, because this is spiritual power, man. All right. It says, be that be uh, precious in thy sight. Let me go to chapter two. Okay, with a, with Alicia as well. All right, cause Alicia, Alicia um, just had a uh, just as strong spirit as Elijah, man. Then these are our ancestors, okay? These are Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, Black Spanish and Native Americans, you are Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures. All right, <laughs> Second Kings chapter two verse nine. And it came to pass when they were going over that Elijah said unto Elisha, "Ask what I should do for thee before I be taken away from thee." And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. You see, these are, these are spiritual acts, man. These, these are not no carnal acts. He ain't asked for no gold. You know, he ain't asked for no women. He asked for the spirit, man. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that discernment, okay? The, that, tr that real treasure, man. All right? The real treasure. Let me go down. Well, this is with the waters. Kind of, this is with the waters, man. With Alicia. Alright, when you're straight into that spiritual power account, man. This is 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19. And the men of the city said unto Alicia, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord see it. But the water is not in the ground barren. Alright, so the, the, the city beautiful and all, but he like the water, man. It's just, it ain't up to par. Verse 20, he said, Bring me a new cruise. 
and put salt therein, and they brought it to him. Verse 21, And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there. And it said, Thus saith Yahweh, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. Verse 22, So the waters were healed unto this day according to the saying of Elisha which he spake. A hey, spiritual power, man. Spiritual powers. That, that's it right there. Okay? Just to bring forth, just to bring forth that account, you know? All right, this, these, and these are beautiful accounts. Let me see verse 4. Okay. Gazi, Salaki, Alicia. Right, right. This, and it's basically the same thing that happened with Alicia, man. He healed, he healed a child. Okay. He healed a child as well, man. This is this is beautiful. You know, I was meditating and going through this, through the scriptures. Why not? You know, it just came in my spirit to bring it out. All right, the second Kings chapter four, verse thirty-one. And Gazi passed on before them and laid the staff upon the face of the child, and there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore he went again to meet him and told him, saying, The child is not awake. Verse 30, verse thirty-two. And when Elisha was coming to the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. Okay, this is a dead child, you know. Verse thirty-three, and he went, he went in therefore and shut the door upon them twine and prayed unto Yahweh. Verse thirty-four, and he went up and laid upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and laid his eyes upon his eyes and laid his, and his hands upon his hands and stretched himself upon the child and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Verse thirty-five. All right. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself unto him and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times and the, and the child opened his eyes. OK, spiritual power, man. Alicia. OK, basically revived the child, you know, through the great input. Because what he prayed to you, how He prayed. You know, you got to pray. How about you? You're not going to do this thing on your own. This is all through the grace and mercy and the power of Yahweh Bashmi outside. That's why we that's why we glorify him on the daily. Okay? Through our works, you know, through our faith, man. Alright. And people, you about people about to see face to face. You about to deal with Yahweh Bashmi outside. You about to deal with our power. You know? They don't truly understand. That goes to the next chapter. Let me go uh verse 15. Already yo, gotta highlight it. But 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 15. Like, and he returned to the man of the most high he he and all his company and came and stood before him and said behold now i know that there is no that there is no power in all the earth but in israel now therefore i pray thee take a blessing of thy servant okay because people the witnesses and the, these witnesses of what we always on how and by ways everybody's gonna understand that there's no true power in all the earth and all their religions except in Yasha Allah, princes of the power, man. It's up in Israel, okay? We don't have this name for nothing. You about y'all about to find out why why they why you call it um why he gave us name Israel, man. He's about to show true power unto us. Alright. Things about to get things about to get real. And these spiritual powers about to come into effect. That's why we be we praying hope that we the ones doing it. You know? That we the ones witnessing it. Okay. Alright. It's about to be beautiful, man. This, this, you know, reading these spiritual powers, you know, going through the through, going through history, history of our ancestors, because these, these are our ancestors. These are not just some characters in a normal book. This is not a normal book, man. All right? Alicia and Elijah, man. These are glory. These are, these are on the level. These are men on the level. All right? Be beautiful accounts, man. All right? And hey, Lord willing, you know, that was edifying and, and, and exhorting, motivating, encouraging for the spirit, you know, for something for um something for us to look forward to. All right, because hey, everything it's gonna be all hell breaking loose in that day, but it's also gonna be spiritual powers going on in that day as well. All right. And when I say in that day, Jake was trouble, man. Martial law. Okay. RFID chip being made mandatory, implemented, okay? All hell breaking diseases. Pe you no know, pestilence, as the scriptures say. Sword against sword, man. Mass death. Okay. Alright. 
Hey, and it's Brother Shamark, and I already give all the glory. Infinite praise unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostle and the elders of the great millstone, teacher will wear, and I'll see his tabernacle of David. All right, peace, love, and safety to the hopefully lit. As giving diligence to make the call of election ashore across four corners of the earth. All right, hey, Shalom, keep the faith, Mawafu Ball.